Hello everyone, I'm just here today showing you um, some wonderful tricks you can do with Photoshop. Today we're going to be focusing on 3D Anaglyph, which is um, simply the use of the red, cyan and green channels to create a sense of three dimensions inside a single image. Uh, for this tutorial you will need a pair of these. Um, this is red and cyan 3D glasses, you can find them on eBay for like £1.25, like 99p, whatever you go for. Um, if you've got a pair of these at home, fantastic. If not, then you're not going to see the whole effect. But still, we're going to move on from here and just plow forward. So yeah, this is where the three dimensions work in. So yeah, th this is where we're going to get started. I've got here an image of a cityscape. Um, I grabbed this straight from Google Images, so I'm just going to go ahead and give credit to the guy that um, photographed this. Uh, it's an amazing picture, and I really hope you don't mind me using it. It's from HD Warsaw, so yeah. Either way you spin it, we're going to have a look at the pixel size of this image now. It's 2560 by 1600 pixels, so it's a nice size, it's fairly huge, pretty good. And with it being so big, on a 1080p screen, we still have a lot of overlap around the edges. You can see the transformation box around the edge of this here, which is excellent for a 3D scene. Now, as you can see, what I've done now is I've grabbed myself a 1080p canvas and I've brought in the image. I've du duplicated the layer, so we've got not one, but two of the same image. It's in exactly the same place. You're going to now want to go ahead and stick on those glasses, because this is where it gets interesting. <clears throat> okay, so we've got layer one and layer one copy. Um, for the purposes of this, we're going to name the layers. So layer one is going to be blue, and layer one copy is going to be red. Don't worry about green. That sits in with the blue, I just couldn't be bothered to write the word green as well. So with blue, we're going to want to make sure that that has everything other than red. So we're going to bring up the blending options, that can be done just by double clicking on the layer. Bring up the blending options, and you see here it says advanced blending. All we're going to do is uncheck red, like that. And for the top layer, or the red layer, we're going to do exactly the same thing, only uncheck green and blue. Okay, now we're going to zoom in so we can see our image a bit more clearly. Now with the red side, the red side is the side that moves, the blue side is the side that stays where it is. What you're going to want to do is you're going to grab and make sure you don't move up or down, just move it along the axis. Okay, once you've done that you should have something that looks vaguely like this. You can move it as far as you like until you get the effect that you desire. Um, for me, it's about here. Now this gives a great sense of perspective. I can see the image is really clear. And one wonderful thing about the 3D glasses when you wear them, once you get a 3D image, it makes the whole thing look really shiny. It's kind of strange. Um, only those who have the 3D glasses on will be able to see the, the um, desired effect. But yeah, the image looks really and strangely shiny. I hope you're watching this in 1080 because I'd be a bit bummed out if I was watching this in like 460. But yeah, that's how you make a 3D anaglyph in image using Photoshop. Now if you wanted, we could bring in another image. So I've got here a um, portable network graphic of a fighter jet. If we just drop that down so we can now add it to our image like so, just get rid of that. We can now start playing around with some 3D effects in this. Now that looks pretty good as it is, but of course the aircraft is not 3D, and it also doesn't match the lighting of the scene. So first, before we do anything, we want to change the lighting on the aircraft. I can see there's a blue sky, so I want to give it a slight blue tint using the variations. So if we just do that, and lighten it up a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty cool to me. As well as that, the aircraft is also flying, so you might want to give some heat shimmer coming out the back here. Um, doing that's going to be quite difficult, really, because 
as soon as you join these two layers together they're going to fuse and they won't look very good so for a heat shimmer effect I'm just going to leave it out for now um, the best way to go about that would I would recommend uh, taking out this image de deleting that layer saving this whole thing as a PNG then popping it back into Photoshop and using it from there but yeah what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the aircraft itself so let's duplicate that layer so we have two of them the same thing happens as well we're going to get rid of the red from the under layer and the layer above it we're going to get rid of the green and the blue now for things which are closer to the screen you want the 3d effect to be less defined so the more you move the aircraft to one side the further away it really should be so if we just move the aircraft a few pixels I'm going to go ahead and say about five so just press the left arrow key five times that gives us a sense of the aircraft being closer to the screen than the city itself but of course if you look carefully at this we're going to want to add a slight skew on the image the reason for that being is because the further away the plane is the bigger the 3D effect should be so if we just click on the corner or should say the edge line of the transformation box and right click and go to skew we can then skew the side of the image away from the back of the plane giving us a decent 3D effect like that so yeah there you go that's how you create a 3D anaglyph image using Photoshop here it is in full size for you to see and here is another great piece of work uh, done by a good friend of mine on DeviantArt, you should really check his, his artwork out, he's pretty good at this so yeah there we go um, 3D anaglyph effect in Photoshop simple and yet very very effective you can take your glasses off now I think I'll take mine off, but it does hurt my eyes after a while. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you thought, and um, I'll catch you all later.